For more than 20 years, the African-American Shakespeare Company has been on a mission to bring some color to the classics. Most recently, the San Francisco-based theater troupe took on a Tennessee Williams classic. KPX 5's Kristen Ayers takes us behind the scenes. You know the classic. Hey, Stella! But you've probably never seen it like this. Stella! Tennessee Williams, a streetcar named Desire, performed for the stage by the African American Shakespeare Company. Founder Sherry Young says this is the company's hallmark, their tagline, envisioning the classics with color. We've done Julius Caesar set in a war and torn Africa, a Midsummer Dream set in Trinidad and Tobago during Carnival with the big feather costumes and sexy, sexy, you know, beating, you know, costumes. Um, we've done Twelfth Night set in the Fillmore District, uh, like a San Francisco noir around the wharf. For women are as roses, whose fair flower being once displayed doth fall that very hour. So all of a sudden the words start popping and people are like, oh, you, it doesn't sound so foreign after all. I understand what they're do saying. And I think people are just a little bit more open because it's new to them. And they're just not thinking of it as an antiquated classic. The result, director L. Peter Callender says, classic works updated and infused with black culture. What it does, it changes the flavor of it. If you give Wynton Marcellus um, Beethoven's Fifth, you know that's going to have a little bit of flavor to it. You know he's going he's to hold a note a little bit longer. You know that he's going to have that trumpet play just a little bit. He's, he's going to have that, that piano riff just a little bit sexier, a little bit um, more orchestral, a little bit um, a, a spicier. And that's what we do with these plays. A Streetcar so Named Desire is one of Calendar's favorites, so a modern-day tragedy set in right, 1940s yes. New Orleans. We Kendall. sat in on a dress rehearsal to watch Calendar know, at work on a production that he says okay. holds true to the original. It's a party, it's a rock quarry, your best friends are there, you're dressed in your finest attire. We are in Blanche's head. <laughs> strange that I should be called a destitute woman yes. when I have all these treasures locked in my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think of myself as a very, very rich woman, but I've been foolish. Mm -hmm. Casting my pearls before swine. Jameer Jenkins plays the tragic, troubled Blanche Dubois in the biggest role of her career so far. It's always been a dream of mine to play this role, so it's really a dream come true to work with this theater company and, and be Blanche. How about taking a swim? A moonlight swim on the old rock quarry. <laughs> As if anybody's sober enough to drive a car. <laughs> and I love that. But Jameer says she could only envision herself as Blanche after seeing Nicole Ari Parker and Blair Underwood in the Broadway production of A Streetcar Named Desire back in 2012. You get to decide. Now, she'll step into the role just as the blockbuster movie Black Panther is sparking discussions of diversity and representation in Hollywood. The same issues that inspired Sherry Young 23 years ago. I didn't see enough of us in the audience and I was thinking that my community doesn't like Shakespeare because it's boring and it's old and it's um, antiquated and they want to see something that's lively that's popping that's fun and I want to bring that to my audience and I had this brilliant idea that there's not a lot of black people doing Shakespeare at the time this is like the early 90s and why don't I start my own theater company at the time she was an actress herself in her early 20s with no knowledge of how to run a theater company. Now she's inspiring a new generation of young actors, like Kari Moy, a theater buff turned actor who plays Stanley Kowalski, the role that Marlon Brando made famous. It's an amazing feeling, I mean, to be able to do this with a majority all black cast. Was this before or after the telegram from the Texas oil millionaire? What telegram? Oh, no, after, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, there wasn't no oh, guy at all. Good, that's right, that's there right. There isn't no millionaire. Good. Mitch didn't come back here with roses because I know where he is. Good. Calendar says he hopes theater goers good. will see so guys, the play so, in so a I'm whole sorry, new light. I want everyone to just forget what they think they know and re-listen. Retune your ears to this piece of music. Retune your ears to this rhythm. Retune your ears to these words. Retune your ears to the actor saying, Stella. It's different than what Marlon Brando had done. It's a different tone, a different timbre. After seeing this play, when the lights come up, I want them to sit for a second and think about what they saw. 
not just because it was a, a primarily all black cast. Certainly, they will see that. But I want them to see, wow, I never, I've never heard that phrase. I've never heard that line before. I never thought that, that Blanche could be so um, erudite. I never thought that she could be so dynamic. I never thought that Stella could be so grounded. I never thought, or I never heard those lines spoken that way before. Or, um, wow, the Africa, this company does exist? Holy cow, I'm very, I want to come back. I want to see more. I want to donate. <laughs> For the actors, this production has become deeply personal, bigger than the stage. I think I bring the entire history of my people when I walk on stage. I feel that when I wait in the wings before I come in, I have ancestors all behind me pushing me on. And I feel like that connection to who I am and to the people who've come before me will bring something different and unique. In San Francisco, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5. Uh, street